You see, it's been over a year and a half since we moved into this house and this is one of the spaces of the house that I was just not sure on what to do nor how to design it. But I always kept my hopes up and saw the light in the end of the tunnel, hoping for a day that I could have an idea on how to transform this space. And thanks to today's partners, I feel like this is the day, so I finally decided to put together the ultimate cozy home theater room setup, perfect for those lazy days. And by the way, if you're new here, a subscribe would be much appreciated. Now let's get started. So before anything, I had to remove the existing TV I had on the wall and kind of revamp the air ducts to match the room aesthetics. So I gave them a coating of black to match the black walls. And I'm gonna get more into that black wall in a minute. To kick things off, let's talk about the brains of the operation, which is the N1 Ultra by JMGO, which is a 4K triple laser projector with an insane amount of lumens, 22,000 to be exact and it's packed with crazy features. So JM Go sent this over to me, but I have full control of my opinion on what I think about this projector. So first impressions right out the box, the unboxing experience was really cool because the projector comes packed in this EPP foam packaging design that serves as a carrying case, making it even more portable if you're gonna be taking this around, changing rooms, or even just watching content with your family outside in the yard, or in other spaces. So the first thing you notice is the slick design that gives you the vibes that if Apple made a projector, it would look like this one. It is super cool looking and it feels extremely high quality with premium materials. On the front, you have of course the laser and right on the side of it, you have the cameras which we'll cover in a minute. In the back, you have two HDMI 2.1 ports, one USB-A 2.0 port, and one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with vents on the rear for air circulation and speakers to the side, which are out of this world for a projector of this size. Inside of the box, you get the power adapter and the cable, a non-backlit remote, but I'm not complaining, a guide card with a start guide and an Allen wrench. So like I said, this is a 4K Ultra UHD projector with true to life 4K image with triple color laser with a BT 2020 gamut color space coverage with a 1600 by one contrast ratio, giving you a true and deep black colors with high dynamic range. The gimbal design pans 360 horizontal and tilts 135 degrees vertical, making it very easy for you to find the perfect place for projection even on the ceiling and making the adjustment process so much smoother than any other projector I've seen out there. The picture quality and colors are amazing and it's insane how crystal clear this projector is even with a lot of ambient light in the room. We all know how projectors are designed to be enjoyed in the dark, but in my opinion, they separate from lower output projectors when they're used during the day with ambient light exposure. And the N1 Ultra blows this task out of the water. I have a large skylight that brings light into the room and this projector still pulls a crisp image quality with fantastic colors. It's equipped with Android TV 11, making it easy to find a lot of entertainment with the Google Play app and more than 5,000 app downloads. It comes with Google Assistant, providing you near field voice control, a Chromecast that is built in that supports Android and iOS mirroring at the same time. One downfall though is that you cannot get Netflix on it. I'm not really sure why. So for you Netflix and chillers out there, too bad. However, if you have a device with Google Chrome on it, you can simply cast to it. Talking about the sound, the output is vibrant, pulling a 45 Hertz extreme low frequency bass and certified by Dolby Audio. It has two large 10 watt speakers and a 26 dB for those low noises. Honestly, this is the projector that you wouldn't even need to connect to any speakers due to being so loud. The first time I plugged it, I was so impressed by the amount of audio quality that was coming through this projector and was filling the room. But you can always pair with your choice of speakers or sound system via Bluetooth. As for some of its features, it has auto keystone correction, meaning it analyzes and detects the projecting surface and self aligns to your screen or surface, which is pretty cool. It's got smart object avoidance in case there's any object in between the projector and the screen. And because of that, it has auto screen fading feature that self corrects to your screen 
making the user experience even more incredible. Looking at it, you can kind of tell sometimes that the projecting area is larger than what it aligns to your screen just because of this feature. But you can always go in there and double this manually and adjust accordingly to your screen if you're not satisfied with the auto correction features, which you rarely happen in my experience so far. Guys, I know this projector is not cheap. I was actually impressed by the price, but I can justify by its features. And judging from some reviews from the tube, it actually comes out destroying a lot of long throw projectors in the same price range and category. So if you wanna hunt for a projector, I'd consider checking this one out and JM Go is having some crazy deals during this Black Friday and Cyber Monday so keep an eye out for links and promo codes in the description below. One thing that got me concerned when JM Go first reached out to me is that I ended up doing some light research on the projector and I found out that there's a little bit of triple laser spackle. But I want to send a shout out to the Hookup YouTube channel that made a list of compatible screen materials to reduce the triple laser spackle, which in short is stay away from ALR or ambient light rejecting screens because of the metal particles in them, which the speckle is kind of unavoidable when it comes to triple laser projectors, so stick to plain or white matte screens. And when I unboxed it the first time, I used it on a beige wall and I couldn't notice it because of the matte wall, but I have to say that different people have different eye sensitivities, so take this with a grain of salt. Thankfully, VividStorm sent me one of their motorized one inch models to pair up perfectly with the JM Go. And guys, when I got it, I felt like a kid in Christmas just because of how well this thing works. This is their cinema white screen material with black borders with 160 degrees of viewing angle. It's great for 4K and 8K projectors. It is motorized, meaning it can roll up and down, and it's so simple to set up making this plug and play. There's actually no drilling required to install it. You can pretty much set it on the floor or just set it on top of a media unit, and you can pretty much just roll it up from there. It is great for long and short throw projectors because when it's fully tensioned, the screen actually maintains the surface wrinkle-free due to their retractable technology. And like I said, the setup is a breeze. All you gotta do is connect the plug on the side, you turn on the button, and you have a manual control button that you can use to raise and lower the screen to the side. But to keep it wireless, it comes with two remote, a black that you can only use with direct side of the screen, and a white one that you can control from anywhere. It also comes with a USB sensor that you can plug to the back of your projector so that once you turn your projector on, it sends signal to the vivid storm screen and raise the screen automatically and vice versa when you turn it off. I think it's super convenient so you don't have to keep multiple remotes on hand. I could have perfectly just left this guy on the floor, but to take it to the next level, I purchased the wall clamps that you can simply drill into the studs and rest the motorized screen on it. Like I said, this was not necessary at all, but I wanted to go this route to fit the theater aesthetics. Even though the projector has really good audio, I'm sticking to my Sony HD S350 2.1 soundbar with a subwoofer because I've actually had these guys for a while and they work fantastically. Even though they are wireless, they deliver a super clean high frequency audio dialogue when watching content. And for more dimension, the subwoofer packs a mean punch when it comes to those low frequencies and bass for more immersive experience. For the media unit, which we also use as toy and game storage, I picked up the IKEA Bista. I chose actually three Bistas and put together to form a longer unit to give an impression of going from wall to wall. I decided to go with white doors and a walnut light gray frame, giving it a more slick look which helped the design freely around it. As for the rest of the room, we still wanted to keep it very family friendly because it's a space that the kids will spend a lot of time in. So we gave it a fresh coat of paint in the entire room and we went with French silver on all the walls and we did an accent wall in black to kind of have it stand out a little bit more and inspire those cozy cinema vibes. As for the sofa, we went with what I think is the Vivic, not sure if I'm pronouncing right, from Ikea. I know how tough it is to pick up a sofa for a space because it's most likely a purchase that you would not repeat for a while. So a sectional I think is one of the best sofa configurations to make the most of a cozy room setup. And considering that we do watch a lot of movies on Sundays, I wanted to complement the sofa, so I picked up a beanbag chair, because why not? We want this space extremely cozy, 
and guys let me tell you once i received this thing i put my hands around it and i just wanted to sit on it lay down in multiple positions don't get me twisted and be lazy and do nothing all day yeah so i think that was a pretty cool addition to the space bringing additional seating without taking actually a lot of real estate from the room and even though it's a carpeted space i still wanted to put down an area rug just to kind of section off the main area and bring the space causing the levels to the roof in the center of the room again to make the space lighter but still keeping functionality at hand i took a trip to at home and found this coffee table that you could use as a storage and you can put some blankets or maybe pillows and also turns out that the top is very functional that i could use as the stand for the jm go in case i don't want to use the dedicated floor stand or the ceiling mount i can simply just put the jm go on a table and it doesn't obstruct your view from the sofa at all it's actually cool that this coffee table is actually a see-through design make it easier on the eyes and helping the space not to feel too cramped to add some greenery to the space i picked up some birds of paradise from amazon which are one of the coolest plants to design around in my opinion so i just threw a couple of them around the room as well as some more greenery on top of the media unit because i do think the greenery elevates the space and promote elegance and because you're trying to keep this setup kind of white with some shades of wood i found some unique decor pieces on amazon that i decided to put around the space as well as some softer soft pillows that whenever you hold them you just don't want to let go and they will put you to sleep and nothing ties up a space more than lighting and artwork so for art we threw some of our favorite artwork starting with the custom bat symbol made by the kids right above the screen in blue and red ink because my kids love power rangers and by the colors you can tell which characters they are into and i placed some more artwork around the room with the house favorites of comic characters which of course you guys know batman gotta be up there spider-man because my youngest loves spider-man to death and captain america because somebody's gotta lead the bunch i also took this opportunity to enlarge some of my designs that you guys have seen on my desk setup videos if you haven't yet go check them out on my etsy store i'll link them in the link below and i'm thinking of making this a printable poster available uh, not sure let me know in the comments below if this is something you guys would be interested but yeah, I enlarged them and I placed them on a 24 by 36 frame so I can display them around the room. And I went with the Iron Man because my oldest loves Iron Man and Black Panther because he's the king of Wakanda. And I love Chadwick Boseman. May he rest in power. To fill up the room, I also found these inspirational words that I could teach the kids. I think it's nice to keep it in the space because this is kind of a space that we'll also use to recharge your inspirational batteries. And like I said, the lighting is the cherry on top, which I started with the media unit by running some Govi LED strips behind it to give the room some glow and ambient light, which also shines to the roof, giving more shape to the overall room. And to the left of the screen, I have the Govi Lyra tube light, which I'm glad Govi finally made this into a black one because the silver one was just an eyesore for black setup. On top of the media unit, I placed a mushroom LED light that serves as a practical light. And to the rear of the room behind the sofa, I added a rope light for practical lighting as well to give a more movie theater vibe. To the side of this space is a setup that is no stranger to you. If you haven't yet, go check out the video on the channel. I'll also link it below. But guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope this inspires you to maybe get a few ideas for the project that has just been giving you a headache that you don't know what to do with. So I wish you guys a great holidays and see you guys soon.